Hi, Jesse's here. Uh, I'm going to play some Diablo 2 Resurrected. I use three separate accounts. Um, and you may wonder why I do that. Well, I'll show you. Uh, but first, I need to show you how I do that. Now, I execute all three of my Diablo 2 Resurrected instances on one desktop machine. Now, if you happen to have a couple of spare computers or laptops lying around, you want to skip through this whole process, be my guest. But if you want to have all of your windows on the same computer and you have enough RAM to do so, then I recommend you try these steps. Uh, the first thing you'll notice is what I have open here on my screen. This is the program files folder in Windows. This is where my battle.net saves Diablo 2 Resurrected. When I first install it to the machine, this is where it landed. Now, initially, this folder right here, Diablo 2 Resurrected, that was it. That was the only folder I had. But in order to have three separate copies running at once, I had to control C, control V, and create two more copies. So if you'll notice, that means that all of these files, 27 and a half gigs, all of these are separate, entire separate copies of the game. So if you don't have a lot of space on your SSD, maybe you don't want to do this after all. Maybe you want to look to an alternative. But to do this method, you need to have three copies of Diablo 2 Resurrected. Now, on to the next step. Uh, I created a shortcut to the launcher in a gaming folder that I have here. So I have Diablo 2 Resurrected 1 goes to my first copy. 2 goes to the second copy that I made, 3 goes to the third copy. Now, I do not have more than three accounts. I only have three accounts. But you could theoretically make as many copies of this as you need um, and installed on your machine and then have that many windows open. Now, I don't think I have enough RAM to do that. Three is already pushing it for me. So I'm also comfortable having three different characters in game it seems fine, but regardless, so I'm going to go ahead and boot up Diablo 2 Resurrected 1 here. What it's going to do is pull a, a battle.net. This is my first account. I'm going to log in. Very exciting, very exciting stuff. It's a nice little Sunday. Um, all right, battle.net, boot up Diablo 2 Resurrected. And here's my Diablo 2 Resurrected. Click, click, and voila, I am now online, connected to battle.net. I'm on the North American servers. Okay, there you go. So that is step is done. The next step is you need to have a certain Windows tool installed called Process Explorer. Now, you Google it, you find an official Windows copy, and you download it. And let me just make sure I'm not full of shit here. Process Explorer Enter. See how it says .microsoft.com? That's an official link. Use that one. And what it turn it turns out that this tool, Download Process Explorer, it's only 3.3 megabytes. Pretty straightforward. It's from Windows. It's not a sketchy third-party tool. I recommend you to use this one instead of the third-party tool. So Process Explorer, this is what it's called, .exe, on my computer at least. And this is the window that comes up. There's a little search bar here, filter by name. I just click on this and type in D2. And then it immediately filters by the process of D2. So this is the active instance that's running right now. If I click here, if you do things in game, you click buttons, you'll actually see some of these change. Some of these, the files that are in use and you know, it's actually a very neat and interesting Windows tool if you're into that kind of thing. But all we all we need to do for our purposes, whoops, uh, is go down to this step, right click Diablo 2, check for other instances, close handle. Whoop, there you go. I just proved myself, uh, <laughs> proved that I, I need to <laughs> remind you all of something. Process Explorer requires administrative rights. So I go back, right click, run as administrator. And it's gonna do this weird thing in OBS. I don't know why it does that. Um, so now I do the exact same thing with administrative rights and repeat the steps, whatever. 
close handle. Okay, so that event is no longer active. Now what I can do is go back to my gaming folder here. This is going to execute a separate copy of Diablo 2 Resurrected. Now, however, I need to need to be careful with this. Uh, can't log into the same account. <laughs> I need to use my other account. Thank God it auto saves, auto fills, makes it a little easier. All right, great. It's going to give me the same stuff. I click play. And what you're going to see, yep. On my Process Explorer, another instance of Diablo 2 Resurrected popped up. However, this one, if I click through, click, 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 uh, and connect to Battle.net here. Very exciting. Um, this one, it has the event Diablo 2 check for other instances. We don't want that either. We don't want any of them. Every time one of them pops up, you kill it. Okay, so... We're not checking for other instances. That's great. That's great news for us. We have our two accounts and our two copies and our two versions of Battle.net running at once. So we go back into gaming, double click. Oops, I always do that. Type, type, type away. It's going to give me the exact same message about Diablo 4. Very exciting. Play. And there you have it. There you have it. That's it. So first, let's do, uh, I think from a questing standpoint, I need to actually create a nightmare game with one of the lower level guys. Uh, let's just make one with the Paladin really quick. Now... If I go to lobby, I believe I can just go to friendless joining. Yeah, there we go. So right click, join game. I'm going to do the same thing with this guy. Go to lobby, friends, right click, join game. And this doesn't explain why I'm doing this, right? This just explains the how. Well, why I'm doing this is because once I finally trudge and drudge and drag my ass through Nightmare and into Hell, what I'm going to do is probably use one of the accounts to bug Mephisto for a while, which means that, let's say the Paladin has killed Mephisto in Hell. If I create the game with the Paladin, the Sorceress can no longer kill um, Mephisto for the quest, but you still get the quest drops. In other words, you still get the items that Mephisto would drop as if it was a quest drop. That's more Diablo 2 mumbo jumbo for you. Basically, that's one advantage. The other advantage is that when it comes to super in-game stuff like Ubers, which I am going to do eventually, I'm a little behind. I'm a few days behind everyone, but um, soloing Ubers is very, very easy in Slash Diablo. I recommend that. But if you want to do it in Diablo 2 Resurrected, it is possible as well. But you just need to remember, I paid for three copies of Diablo 2 Resurrected. So <laughs> don't get it twisted. You know, this ain't free. You know, you need to pay for three copies. Um, let's say I wanted to... I need to get the... the I want to get the Imbue quest. Um, the Imbue quest is in the barracks. So I will go with my Sorceress. But it shouldn't be too bad. All right, there's the, there's the Malice... Uh, let's just grab this. Yoink. Go home. Voila. And I give it to Charcy. Now, if I go into my quest log, Charcy will imbue an item with magical power. Well, guess what? I now have three imbues available to me. Boom, boom, boom. Now this especially gets spicy if you create a bunch of characters specifically to rush all the way to the Hell Forge, which is Act 4, Quest number 2, all the way in Hell Mode. It's possible to do this at such a clip that you actually acquire a lot of high runes 
because that Hellforge has the ability to drop up to Ist. Um, up to Gull, I believe. Um, so let's do something else. What's another task that I can show you that we can do while I have your attention? So um, let's do a meaningless quest. Um, well, actually, I haven't done the Den of Evil. So these... These alts right here, the Barbarian and the Paladin, have not done the Den of Evil. So what I can do is go to the Den of Evil, easy breezy, lemon squeezy, and then I can just, the Paladin and the Barbarian can just do their thing. You know, they don't need the Sorceress, they don't need me. And I can just be there to give them extra experience. So I give a little Town Portal. Lo and behold, Cheeto Vox gave me a Town Portal. Let me pop in here. Oh, look, the Barbarian. He wants to join as well. Very, very exciting sh stuff. All right. Let's give you guys a nice little battle orders. Make sure we have it all maxed out. All right. We can just run around and do use our hammers. <laughs> and uh, this is very slow going because I don't have any gear, but... Uh, you know, when I do this, this will complete the quest for the Barbarian as well, which is kind of dank. If you have questions about, you know, getting multiple accounts set up, using it in Windows mode, um, it's it should be pretty straightforward. There's some text, there's some written guides as well. Um, yeah, this game is pretty great though. And I think it is better when you have multiple accounts. I just know from experience and doing that with... Uh, you know, slash Diablo, that it's 100% worth it to do that. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. Brush your teeth. Goodbye.